now we're going to point out the features of the STA. There is the power cord, which is located on the back of the unit. There is the power button, which turns the STA unit on or off. Another component of the STA unit is the foot pedal control, which is located on the ground. This co uh, controls your rate of flow of anesthetic. And there's also a needle cap holder on each side of the STA, right or left. The control panel is the front of the STA unit. There is the power light indicator, which indicates if the power is on or off. The next button is aspiration control. You have the opportunity as a clinician to turn this on or off. Right now, the light is indicated that it is on. There is the volume control, which indicates how loud you would like the STA to sound. Then we have rate of flow options. You can select normal or turbo, which is fast delivery. Then we have the STA option, which puts the device in STA mode. It is indicated as on right now. And then we have cartridge options. You have the option of selecting one cartridge or multi-cartridges depending on the treatment you are providing. The indicator lights, um, on the STAA mode indicate they will light up indicating how much pressure you are applying and then the other indicator lights indicate how much anesthetic you have left or is being used. Now we're going to discuss the armamentarium needed for the STA. We have the cord. Some cords come supplied uh, with the needle attached. In this video, the needle is not attached. We have two needles. We have the long and we have the short. We also have sterile gauze, locking tweezers or a hemostat, and cotton tip applicators. You will also need some topical anesthetic and the appropriate selection of anesthetic cartridge. Using aseptic technique, you unwrap the cord. There is a little um, at the top. It allows you to open it easily. You're gonna unwrap the cord, drop it on your tray and select the appropriate needle for the, for the anesthetic injection you're going to be doing. In this case, it's going to be the short. And then you're going to take your sterile items and also place those on the tray. We're going to prepare the cord by twisting the needle on the cord that it's, it's, a count, it's a clockwise twist. You want to make sure that the needle is secure, so twisting clockwise. And then you're going to take, you can choose either side, the right or the left, to hold the needle cap and then you're going to take your cartridge and then you're going to firmly push the anesthetic cartridge through the rubber diaphragm and then you're going to line up the cartridge on the top of the STA unit um, pushing down and then twisting clockwise. You'll hear a series of beeps that indicates that the anesthetic line has purged and is ready for use.
There are two specific rates of delivery when using the STA. Light pressure on the foot pedal dispenses 0.5 milliliters per minute and firm pressure on the pedal dispenses a fast rate of 1.8 milliliters per minute. Aspiration is controlled by releasing the foot pedal. So we're going to demonstrate aspiration. A tap of the foot pedal indicates aspiration. Gentle pressure on the foot pedal is a slow rate of delivery. And by firmly pressing your foot on the foot pedal, the faster beeps indicate the second speed of delivery. Uh, for purposes of this video, the STA unit is not barriered. Um, in school or in clinic, you're going to need to barrier the STA unit. So when tearing down the STA unit using a one-handed technique, um, using a hemostat or tweezers, you're going to remove the needle from the needle cap holder. You're going to twist the needle off counterclockwise and dispose of the needle in the biohazard container. You're going to remove the anesthetic cartridge from the top of the STA unit by twisting counterclockwise. The unit will depress um, the rubber stopper and you're going to take out and dispose of the cartridge in the biohazard container. The cord can be placed in the trash so it doesn't take up a lot of room in the biohazard container. And then at this point we would disinfect the STA unit, wiping surfaces down. And we would power off and then store away.